Um, in this video, I just want to show the way that you inscribe your sample name onto the glass slide. You just write your sample name by scratching it into the side of the glass. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just have to be able to read it. I just want to show you what happens when you frost a slide. And all of them are unsuccessful, and maybe I'll show you a successful one at the end. But, um, the first one here, obviously, is if the slide breaks apart when you um, grind it like this, then you can't use it um, in your thin section because it's already broken. Um, okay, so most of this slide looks great because it's all uniformly frosted, but if you look very closely, there's this little crack here and it actually extends this way as well. You shouldn't use this glass slide to continue to make thin sections. And then these two are examples of slides that aren't completely frosted, so you can hopefully see that there's an area here and an area here on this one, and an area here on this one where the grinding wheel actually didn't grind anything off of that surface, so it's still completely transparent. These might be okay to try, but ideally the purpose of this is trying to get everything completely flat and you'd like to have everything frosted evenly. So I will actually show you one example of what this is supposed to look like, which is just something that's completely translucent or frosted all the way across. So that's what we're aiming for when we frost the slides. 